Hello, that out there. This is Vagabond Zero, and today I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of the High Grade 144 Gundam Death Side Hell Custom. Now, I got this kit a couple months ago from Hollywood Japan, and this kit is different from the regular release. It is actually a um, what I call a clear and metallic version. So, these are actually regular release next to the um, regular. It was a normal release next to the regular, uh, regular uh, kit, and I think uh, even in you know pretty much any store you can pick it up, because I remember even um, here in the U.S. when these uh, kits were put up um, on shelves, they were also they were the um, regular, the standard color regular kind, and plus the special kind. So yeah, these were actually sold um, you know next to its uh, uh, regular counterpart. And they were, you know, they weren't like special limited edition or like a uh, special um, ex exclusive that you can only buy like online or you know order it through mail or some crap like that. So, anyways, um, I decided to um, to um, kind of do a quick build of this because um, since it's Halloween and you know um, when I think of Halloween, uh, you know, I think of bats and everything and all these stuff and death side hell. Um, always comes to mind when I, when I think of that. So, so yeah, you can see right here in the box, here's the front of it. Now the difference is, um, you can tell from the um, regular uh, regular box and the, and the special one, is that the um, the words are actually kind of a um, dark gold coloring kind. And also, you can tell by the, um, I think they also kind of made the, the um, shading of the front a little bit lighter. And also, you can tell from the um, side panel that show the kit itself. You can see right there, there's, it's clear and metallic. Here's a shot of the regular one, and plus another shot of the um, clear, uh, the um, special one, which is this one right here. So yeah, they took out one for each each um, kit, so you can get one for one of the uh, you know Wing Zero Custom, Toggy Stream, Heavy Arms Custom. The Serpent Custom, Nataku, and and um, Sandra Custom. In my backlog, I pretty much have all of them, all of them except for Nataku and Tolly Three. How in Japan didn't have those, so maybe later on I'll, I'll see if I can hunt down hunt down those two, you know, without paying um you know massive great prices for them. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, plus it, the price of it was like fifteen hundred yen, but. With um, HLJ's, um, uh, what is it, 20% discount? I think it came out to like maybe 14 or $13. US dollars, I mean. So, anyways, let's uh, take a quick look inside. Now, of course, uh, one other thing is that they, they never made uh, these kind, uh, this uh, the special kind into the um, 100 um, high grade ones. So, I don't think you can find those um, um, ones like those. Anyways. <clears throat> So first up right here is the um, uh, the metallic tree, which is the um, look at which letter this is. Doesn't really say because they kind of like cut up all the pieces to take care of it, but I don't think they have um, numbering on this because of the um, there are not that many parts. So anyways, you can see here's the metallic black. And of course, on the back, it's not metallic, it's just a regular uh, kind of silver kind. So yeah, and of course, you know, you gotta be careful with this um, type of um, uh, finish because it, um, if you're not careful, you can easily scratch it if you're using a knife or, or one of the nippers to, you know, take take the part off. And right there, my camera was about to fall right there. So anyways, there's that piece. And there's actually two more metallic pieces. There's the there's the beam scythe, which was colored gold. And I did that because it's the um, tree is connected to the um, to the um, V fin. That's um, you know normal color is yellow, but you know in this um, kit it's gold. So this is gold as well. But because of the um, the only color one and uh, the only chrome one side, so the other side is um, you know kind of like the flat silver kind but you know, as you can see right here it doesn't have the um 
the gold coin on this on this um, other side right here. So it's only half gold, half silver. So it's gonna look a little bit odd on the um, kit when it has the um, siphon hand. And the next part, another metallic piece, is actually just silver metallic. Nice chrome metallic, should I say? Or yeah. See right there. Here's, and these are the pieces for the um, shoulders, and I think these are for the um, forearms, I think. And of course, here's the face. And of course, the bag is not it's not chrome. And right here we have the first um, clear tree right here. As you can see right here, here's the um, it's uh, completely clear. I think it has a bit of uh, a touch of a smoky color to it because you can see right there on the um, hip, uh, hip joint um, piece. But it's mostly clear. See right there, there's the legs. And of course, here's the scythe. And right here we have some polycaps. Now, of course, um, these actually have more hands than, than the more um, older um, 144 kits. You can see there, here's the um, open palms, uh, close um, gripping hands, which also looks like the trigger hands, and closed fists. And of course, the regular are just, and the rest are just, you know, typical pie caps. And next up is the another clear, the last clear tree. And this one is a smoke, uh, kind of a black clear color, so you can see. And you can tell these are the, um, you know, the um, wings on the deaf side. And of course, uh, with this one, uh, oh yeah, plus there's one more small tree, which is actually the uh, clear red color. And the um, decal sheet. There's the eyes and many of the other pieces. And of course, with this uh, special uh, clear kit, it actually came with a different manual, not the standard manual. You can see right there is that um, nice clean build of the, um, the clear def sight, or metallic clear def sight, should I say. And here's another shot of it. Shot of it with its um, wings closed. And of course on the inside tells you a little bit of history. About Duel Maxwell, its pilot, and all the events in um, <clears throat> uh, Endless Waltz, and plus, let me see here. Like I said, all the um, events that happened in this Waltz and a little bit beforehand. By telling you how the Death Side became Death Side Hell. And. And of course, on the inside, it tells you all the um, trees again, and plus how to put it all together. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the um, unboxing of this guy. I'm going to uh, try to see if I can build it in a day, which is going to be a challenge. So yeah, definitely going to enjoy building this because I've been kind of looking forward to um, putting together one of these Zenith Waltz clear kits. So that's it for the unboxing of this guy. Again, hope you enjoyed it. So, you know, hit me down in the comments if you have any questions about it or any of the um, other um, kits that I said that I have clear uh, clear versions of the uh, of the Youngest Waltz. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.